carbon neutral except for our electricity use, and I'm obsessed on finding ways that we can make carbon-free electricity. I was never successful. In 1985, I discovered soil pollution at one of our brick plant sites for decades of petroleum use. I found some professors at Virginia Tech University, Virginia Polytechnic University, which is not far away, professors who dealt with soil bacteria, so we began to grow bacteria which would consume pollution in the ground. Funded their business by systems technology, and then we created Cherokee Environmental to clean up contaminated soil all over the East Coast. And over the years, we cleaned up 15 million tons of dirt. That would be enough that if you stacked it all up on a golf course, it would raise the level of that golf course by about 400 feet or 130 meters. We begin to buy contaminated property to clean up. We raised over $2 billion for this, relying and remediating pollution on land. We've owned 550 properties in the U.S., Canada, and Europe, including a refinery site not too far from here in Trieste. Trieste. Some people think Cherokee is a real estate company because it owned a lot of property, has owned a lot of property, but our property work is driven by our pollution focus. I saw that we could affect pollution by working with smart scientists at Virginia Tech. We don't have, we don't internally have the capacity for scientific innovation. We're business people, we're not scientists. But we realized that we could find scientists who had ideas. And so we branched out, we kept doing this with other professors at other universities. Between 1985 and the present, we've started or invested in over 100 venture technology or startup companies. Many of these address water or air pollution or energy grid management. Almost none of these were our own ideas. These were others' ideas. My primary goal is to reduce pollution. So for years, we've been going abroad to transfer technology because that's where most of the pollution is. I go to China regularly to advise officials and business leaders on methods and processes for addressing pollution. They've declared 19% of their land too contaminated for agricultural and this is mostly due to air pollution. Air pollution dropping contaminants on the land. Obviously, this is a huge social issue. I began to do this in the former Soviet Union in the 1990s. And we have also explored similar paths in the Middle East, in India, and in Indonesia, focusing on areas with most population. In order to address the world's environmental problems, solutions must be ubiquitous. They cannot exist only in in the early part of this decade, Cherokee had entered a relatively stable part of its history. The next generation of leaders was being prepared to carry our values and processes forward, and our existing projects were operating smoothly. My children were in their 20s and 30s, and I was spending time with them and with my wife for the first time really in 35 years. I had rebuilt my experimental airplane and I was installing a parachute in it, looking forward to using it more. 